So look, bro. Another reaction video, Ghost Gang video, Yande video. I'm gonna get straight into this one because um these videos be real informative. You know what I'm saying? And by the title, I could tell it's gonna be one of them ones. To the parents out there, go get y'all kids, bro. As a matter of fact, let your daughter finish doing whatever she's doing. Go get your son. Go get your boys. Bring them to the living room. Bring them to your room. To your older brothers and sisters out there, bring your little brothers, your cousins, the neighbor. Because um, this video is going to be one of them ones I'm not even lying to you. And it's aiming at the youth. With that being said, I hope y'all straight. I'm straight. If AK this weekend, cheese. You know what I'm saying? Um... And that's it. I love y'all. Males too. And I ain't got to say pause. I'm a grown shh man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. The manslaughter and the death of... Hold on, take it back. You missed two seconds. We go to a hearing inside the Genesee County Courthouse in Flint, Michigan. Four teenagers have pled guilty to manslaughter and the death of 32-year-old Kenneth White. Whoa. A fifth defendant, 19-year-old Kyle Anger, has already pled guilty as an adult to second-degree murder. This is what happens. I want y'all to hear what they said, bro. I want y'all to hear what they said. Let's do what they said. The Genesee County Courthouse in Flint, Michigan. Four teenagers have pled guilty to manslaughter and the death of 32-year-old Kenneth White. A fifth defendant, 19-year-old Kyle Anger, has already pled guilty as an adult to second-degree murder. Manslaughter charge is less than a second degree, and the reason why he got the... And this goes out... I said y'all got to bring them kids up in here. This goes out to you fools out there that be smoking with minors, buying beer and cigarettes for people that's under 21 years old, um, not mature enough, can't really fit in society with other grown adults. So they kick it with people younger than them, so they feel like they can guide them, boss them around. They feel like somebody, you know what I'm saying? The reason he got the most time is because he was the oldest, bro. And any kind of money, he was the mastermind behind it. Because I don't care what nobody say, he was with four teens. All four of them didn't want to do it. Two or three of them was followers. I'm not even lying, bro. They was followers. They wanted to be a part of the, a part of the crew. The teens threw a six-pound rock off a highway overpass, puncturing the windshield of a passing car, striking White in the head. Wow! The driver, Stephen Anther, seeing his friend injured, immediately called 911 for help. How unlucky. Oh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> Salud. But no, nah, um, how lucky can you be or unlucky can you be, bro? And I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Me and my cousins used to do this all the time. You know what I'm saying? We never seen who we hit for the simple fact. My uncle backyard, it was right by the freeway. But the brick wall was taller than us. We knew the freeway was over the brick wall, but we couldn't see over the brick wall. So what we do in the backyard, all them little pebbles that be up in the grass by the little flower bed. Vroom, 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 vroom. Swear to God. Let me tell y'all a true story on my mama rest in peace, right? A true story, bro. The bus on Slauson, it's up in L.A. The bus on Slauson is the 108 that run up and down Slauson, right? <laughs> Me, my cousin, the homies. <sighs> Actually, one of my boys doing life in prison right now, too. That was with us. My boy Kevin, he's still up in the, uh, over there right now as we speak up in the village. But look, so the 108 Slauson bus, boom. And it come up and down Slauson. So, Crenshaw right here, bro. 8th Avenue is right here. So, once you get off Crenshaw, the next street that'll be... If you're coming down from, like, Fox Hills Mall, if you cross Crenshaw, the next street that you can make a right on is 8th Avenue, right? And between 8th Avenue and Crenshaw, it was a bus stop that the 108 stopped at. So, what we do... My house, I go get the eggs out the refrigerator. My cousin Michael house, he go get the eggs out his refrigerator. The homie Kyle, he go get the eggs out his refrigerator. And when I tell you we would like that motherfucker. <laughs> but look, I tell y'all that story to say this, bro. 
when we did that, we was doing this for probably like three weeks. So, you know, they going back. Every time, I, I know for a fact they going back to the station. Like, every time we go up uh, Slauson, they throwing eggs at the bus. They throwing eggs at the bus. One day, bro, we lit it up so bad. The police came. You got a helicopter up in there probably like 40 minutes looking for us, bro. We looking out the windows. And my boy, I told you that's doing life right now. 10, 15 minutes go by. His daddy was Belizean, bro. 10 or 15 minutes go by. We like, we ain't going outside. We see the Johnnies. We see the fuck. And we only like 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? After that 15 minutes, next thing you know, you see the homie and his dad walking, but his dad got his hand held up like this, just whooping his the whole time. Bro, we in there dialing. Bro, this is... This is a real thing for kids, you know what I'm saying? They're just an adult, as an adult, bro. What the fuck are you doing being with him or trying to infant with him? He didn't do it to you, they did it to you. Engaged to be married, died shortly afterwards at the hospital. Wow. The four defendants all agreed to plead guilty to manslaughter with one stipulation. That they be tried as juveniles, not adults. Exactly. Judge Joseph Farah is tasked with accepting or rejecting that stipulation. As Judge Farah weighs his decision, several factors work against the teens including the fact that for these boys dropping objects from overpasses was apparently a regular pastime there wasn't yeah. one event nor was it done at a single location the rocks and, and other items were gathered from other locations loaded in a truck and then driven to overpasses to throw them well he need to understand like i told you we did that we did the rocks thing before but i could tell you right now them kids did not intend to kill nobody. On their mind, they're not thinking nobody is going to die, bro. They're just being bad. You know what I'm saying? The only reason they're doing it is to be bad. Their intentions is not murder on the mind. They're not on that YNW Melly shit. You know what I'm saying? Kids is bad. Teenagers to about... I don't care if you're a teenager, bro. If you 15 and under... You're still a kid to me, bro. 14 and under, you're still a kid. The kids are just bad. They did not intend to kill that man, bro. Over. They didn't. Also thrown at other times and other locations, tire irons, a muffler, a shopping cart, a shopping cart. They, they did all those? A couch. What was the purpose in this game called overpassing? Did they say he did all? They did all those or he previous crimes? I think somebody was killed. Additionally, the teens made light of the horrific crime through dozens of heartless Snapchat messages. Fifty-one times the letters L O L L M A O or Ha Ha appear in the messages, and many after it was learned that they had killed somebody. Wow. Lay low for a while and everything will be fine. Only when That's what I'm saying. Kids being kids being dumb. They up there on social media texting each other, bro. I, and mind you, mind you, mind you, they kids, yes, everybody know what death is. You go to funerals at 15, however they is, 17, whatever the case, bro. They just taking light of the situation. They not even thinking like I'm a criminal. They're gonna go ahead and hit my Snapchat, my Instagram. They're gonna take my phone and read these. They are wrapped up, bro. And honestly, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna stay with that. I don't think they intend to kill that man. But just them not giving a f afterwards, bro, is what's gonna get the judge. What's gonna get the judge, man, bro? Like they just. Like they actually intended to kill him when they didn't, just by the messages. Say the word spelled rats, so you better hope he didn't give in already, or else we're going to the slammer. As Kenneth White's grieving mother watches from the gallery, they're talking about each other. Judge Farah announces his decision. The proposal for juvenile sentencing is rejected. 
Yo. Once that decision is issued. Yo. <laughs> if I was one of them teams, probably would have went my heart all up in my ass. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> I just would have dropped so far, I would have felt it all in my ass. <laughs> You know the butterflies like you get when you on a scary ride? You know the butterflies when you get when she says she missed her marriage? The butterflies you get when you about to hit for the first time? The butterflies you get at the first job? The the, yeah. In my... <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. They rejected it. That mean they finna be tried as an adult, bro. Everything I just said about that juvenile and all that is out the window for them, bro. They looking at them like they 30 years old now. Oh, my God. Four defendants withdraw their guilty plea and choose to go to trial. Mm -mm -mm. While awaiting trial, three of the teens remain in custody without bond, while a fourth, Alexander Miller, is out on $25,000 bond. That is messed up, bro. That's what I'm saying. If y'all gonna do a crime, make sure you got some money. The other three had to sit up in there and wait on this murder trial while he got out. $25,000 bond is 10%. That means he only had to pay $2,500 to get out. The other three didn't even have $2,500 a piece so they can go home. Y'all know trials be waiting. Like, you got to wait a year, two years, sometimes three years, bro. Yeesh. Yeesh. Too broke to get out. <laughs> Whoa. As for the fifth defendant, Kyle Anger, who's already pled guilty to second degree murder, right, he's in a he begins serving his sentence of 39 months to 20 years in a Michigan state prison. I be hating seeing stuff like this. I'm not lying, because anybody else, they would have got the book. Y'all ask, how can he get three years and three months? That's 39 months. Don't ask me how. Anyway, how can you get three years to life? Because he only gonna do seven in parole. That's what they do, bro. That's they gave him three years to life, three to twenty-five years, whatever they just said, bro. He gonna get on probably like six, seven years on good behavior. You can look at him and tell he's gonna be in good behavior. Not even he's not even gonna be on good behavior so he can come home. He just a square. He gonna be on good behavior because he's scared. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at him, bro. That he about to go to wait. I stereotype. You know about y'all? I stereotype. We were all in it together. All of just through the book at it. Next, we head to the S. James Foxman Justice Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. Back to the teens. Keep your kids. Keep your brothers in the room. The woman being sworn in is 18-year-old Keandria Cook. Cook's in court today to receive a sentence for using a dating app to set up a robbery that ended with another teen being shot. The teen survived. Oh. Cook has accepted a plea deal that will drop a conspiracy charge, which carried a maximum. And that's the thing about females. That's the thing about guys, bro. I promise you, if you a dude trying to get at a female, I'ma say 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
that look like Rihanna and Beyonce had a baby. Let's link up, daddy. Hootie whoop whoop. And you like, okay. Cause you ain't never had one. I'm sorry to tell you, bro, it's too be like it's too good to be true. You finna get robbed. Are you gonna die? I'm I'm being real. And that's what she in jail for, cause she got caught up sending somebody else up as a teenager. She let some dude talk her into doing it, bro. She didn't do that by herself. A penalty of life in prison, but counts of carjacking, attempted carjacking with a deadly weapon, and felony battery are still in play. Mm, she's a thing. Right, come on up, Mr. Cook. You get to say the final words. Before we lock yours. <laughs> Speak on it. You never know. I told you my boyfriend and his plans did. They did plan to do this. I know he was gonna get shot. That's cause you a dumb female, bro. Dudes are not gonna tell you the whole plan. You are just a pawn in this. What's the pawn? Just reel him over here and we'll handle the rest. Get that nigga over here and we gonna handle the rest, bro. And to you dudes out there, if you get your feet, if you get your girl to do a crime and she get caught, she's telling on you, bro. Y'all don't never sit back and think about this before y'all actually do crime. You need to smoke and sit back and really think. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you, you, you stupid. They just go do crimes, set up house licks, and and, and without thinking, bro. Like I said before, think before you think and then think again, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because it seemed like they just be like, I'm about to get this money. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get me a watch. I'm about to get me a chain. I'm about to get me a whoop. Bro, you about to get you a jumpsuit that's orange or blue. That's it. That's it. And and people that's going to support you for the first six months and forget about you the next 10 years. I don't just be talking to y'all, bro. Listen to me. I didn't even know what's going on. I didn't even know what's going on. How you at the wrong place at the wrong time when you went there purposely, you hit up old boy purposely, and then you waited till he came to you, or you went to him purposely? That's not the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? Now, please put, let's get some scenarios in there. I don't, give me some examples. Matter of fact, give yourself, give me some examples of wrong place, wrong time, because this ain't it. She act like she just walked to the store and get some milk. As soon as she walked in there, somebody robbed him and just shot up the place and she got hit. That's wrong place, wrong time. You're just getting milk for your daughter. Or for yourself, because you want some cereal. If it was me, Frosted Flakes to be exact. It was just sprinkle a little shit. You was at the right place at the right time. You was just dumb. That's it, bro. I just want to say you. I acted for the kid in this question. No. So I can get out. No. Nope. I look. I'm gonna tell you like this, and I'm dead serious, bro. Moms want to be proud of their kids. Black moms, masculine moms want to be proud of their kids, bro. I promise you, when we at school, I'm talking about the kids. When we talking to each other, or even when we telling our mom or our dad, we never tell the homies like, "Yeah, I just want to make my mama proud." We never tell our mama like, "Yeah, I just want to make you proud." Mind you, you got those that do. The majority don't. It's just when you get up in court, I want a second chance. I want to finish school. I want to make my mom proud. You, 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 you already. Well, I wish I was the judge, but I'd be like, why are we here? You did what to what on a date nap? Hold on. Like I told y'all before, crimes don't just happen in a split second. It takes time, minutes, hours, days. You got all that time to just say, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, you come to my court, bro. As soon as you got in there, they're going to be like, this is funny as So as she woke up, yeah, I just want to say, life. That's it. <laughs> I don't care what you want to say. I don't care who you want to thank. Yeah, and, and, and to the mom, I'm sorry your son got shot. I'll just be like, cap. they would be like, judge. Are y'all going to fire me? If y'all ain't gonna fire me, then I'm gonna continue to this this cap, bro. I'm not finna sit here and act fake and act like I'm listening to all these remorseful stories when I know it's cap. 
You know it's cap. They cap. Help child to bring high school diploma. No. Cause if you were still out and didn't do it, you wasn't even gonna go to school. He go making my mama cry all again. Cook now prepares to hear her sentence as her loved ones look on. Ms. Cook here before the court for sentencing. A couple of things uh, going in your favor. One, you didn't hold the firearm during these episodes. The, the second is. Look at me. I said, what? You didn't hold the firearm that's going in your favor, but you were still a part of it. So that's out the window. Next one is out the Which one is out the window? The victim uh, luckily survived. That being said. Um, the victim luckily survived, but that's out the window because what if he didn't move to the side? Could have hit him up in the heart. How we knew we, yeah, we got you for murder, even though he lived next. This was uh, intentional. It was an orchestrated ambush. Yes, it was. You are a main part of that. Yes, you are. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and adjudicate you guilty of all three charges, sentence you to 20 years in state prison. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think I don't think she should have got the 20 years for the simple fact, for the simple fact. Me, I know how females are. Like I told y'all before when I was talking to uh, when I got my baby mama when I was younger. And what her daddy told me straight up, like, you the one that's fucking her now, bro. She going to listen to you. I'm out the door. She still love me, but she going to listen to you. I would have took that in consideration that that little girl was probably in love. I wouldn't have gave her 20 years. I was talking all that mess before because I thought she was only going to get like three years or something, but 20 years? I think the max would have been like seven. That's a little OD for little mom. I'm not even going to lie. She cried and she can't do nothing but look back at her mama, bro. Like She couldn't do nothing but look back at her mama. With a lot of petitions, the mayor get involved. I think they should. I think they should. I think they should um, go back over this case and give her a lesser time. Cause twenty years as a teenager is too much, bro. That was way too much. To the first. The crying you hear is coming from Cook's mother. The sentence much more severe than they expected. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do your little crimes. Go ahead and uh, mess with old boy because he got Instagram followers and he looked dope in some Louis. You know he got girls. You would do anything to get on his good grace. Y'all females, I told y'all to get the dudes up in the room. But I hope the females up in here too, bro. It's not worth it because as soon as you get that 20 years, he's done with you, little mama. I promise you that. As soon as you get that 20 years, he's looking for another one. Stupid. If this is really what you want, is this really what y'all want, bro? I hope y'all listen to me and brought them motherfuckers in the room. In the beginning, he was like, nah, go stay bad. I don't want to be around them, man. Uh, well, we 22 minutes in, or we 20-something minutes in. Go get the kids, because we not done, bro. We are not done. I will flip out if my daughter got 20 years too. It turns out that Cook and her mother's reactions were so intense because they believed the plea deal meant no prison time. Judge Foxman allows her to enter a new plea deal, citing miscommunication between Cook and the assistant public defender. They did her justice. She got a new plea deal and they chopped it down. Like I said, bro, that 20 years was just way too much. It was way too much. As a result of that new deal? I think he got good in here and I think he got potential. I'll lose sight of that. Um, Cook's sentence is reduced to 11 years in prison. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Now she could parole in seven or eight years. <laughs> she was done. And, and I hope y'all ain't getting no ideas like, Oh, so if I get 20 years, hopefully they'll be like, it's too much. And they'll just go ahead and cut it down to 11. Just don't do it. Go to school. Get you a job. Stay out the way. Take care of your little brothers and sisters and just be cool. Listen to your parents because they ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. If you listen to your parents, they're not going to put you in prison, bro. Only your friends, your boyfriends, girlfriends, neighbors, enemies, they're the only one that will put you in prison. Your parents not going to put you in prison. Listen to me. Now listen to them. 
Listen to me when I tell you to listen to your parents, bro. They're not gonna put you there. They only want the best for you. Y'all think you know, you know kids, you know kids and teenagers think. Mind you, they know their mama is in their 30 and 40s. But they think kids and teenagers think their mama is 10 years old. You young mother bro, your mama is 40. She been through life. She been through fights. She been cheated on. She done finesse. She done stole. She done cheated on people before. She done got over on people. She done got it all. Bro, you think she telling you something wrong? And you up here at 16 thinking you turned up. <laughs> Boy, you don't know life. Y'all sock you in your neck. You don't know nothing about life yet. I promise you that. Nigga think he think he's what? Mm, my bad. But yeah, bro, you know nothing about life. I promise you that. I promise you that. We're now in Washtenaw County Trial Court in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Ann Arbor, Fred, Michigan. My client and I have reviewed the pre-sentence report in this matter. We don't find any factual errors. This is 17-year-old Donta Wright. Wright's in court today to receive his sentence for the... It's Dante, fool. Who is Dante? Never seen no black dude named Dante. It's Dante, bro. How you... Bro, I don't see how... How can you be a reporter or whoever this dude is narrating this video? You sound like you up in age. You sound like you older than 30 at least. If you see a black person and the name that's spelled D... A N T E? How you not know that's Dante, bro? How you not know if you see a black man with the name D A N? -T -E? He said Dante. Like Donda. Almost Kanye. Huh? This, bro. And it seemed like you be. He did these videos before. You seen it, black man? Dante? Serious, bro? That ain't my name, Darrell, bro. Right? They be like, when they see it, they say Daryl, Darrell, Daryl. Understandable. I don't even correct people when they say it wrong because look how it's spelled D A two R's, E two L's. They don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? I don't even correct people. But Dante? That sound like some. Bro. Shooting death of high school student Jordan Clee. He's pled guilty to armed robbery, conspiracy to commit armed robbery. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dante, bro. Look how he spelled his name. D A A narrator. My 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 bad people. <laughs> hey, my bad. Y'all act like y'all be wrong. Ooh, I don't pre-watch my videos. I'm gonna go to that other YouTuber. Uh, hey, Dante. So who messed up? Your mom or the doctor? Because I, <laughs> I ain't never seen it. But I say Dante. We all see that. That's say Dante. See to commit armed robbery, <laughs> a felony firearm violation, and second degree murder. Bro. As part of the sentencing. Are oh, you going to jail? Why are you smiling? This boy's up there smiling. He going to jail for real. And that's showing no remorse for the family. If I was the judge, court would have been over right then and there. Bro, you know you're smiling because you're on murder trial, right? <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, <laughs> life. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, he would have been out of there. I ain't even get a free trial. Oh, well, they got, I guess I'm going to get sued or get fired. But I will go to sleep tonight knowing I gave you life. I'm not even lying. A family member makes a victim impact statement on behalf of the victim's mother, who's too overcome with emotion to speak. I sincerely hope that whatever it was you wanted so badly that you felt the need to murder my son was worth the next at least 52 years of your continued existence. You won't get the luxury of raising your child because you took mine away. Wright's demeanor during this statement is not what you might expect. Give him a photo book of him, please. have led you to a prison cell. But have also created an empty cell that I live in every day. While you can still hope to be released one day, I'll never <clears> escape <throat> my help. You are still alive, but Jordan has no future. Thank you, Your Honor. We're done. Wright and his attorney approach the podium. Right. Your Honor, my client wants to address the court. Well, of course. Yeah. Why? 
would the lawyer even allow him to do that, bro? If you're not finna get up there and say, I am deeply sorry, this is a car crash waiting to happen. <laughs> this is a car crash waiting to happen. I don't even know why the lawyer would let you even get up there. Yes, sir. Mr. Wright, what would you like to say? I just want to tell y'all, I'll be home soon. I'll be Keon. I love my family. Wow. Wow. Too cocky, bro. That's what I'm saying. I hope they give him the 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 max. Disregard to the family, bro. You don't know how it is losing a family member. Matter of fact, he do know how it is because he just RP Keon. The mama should have been like smoking that Keon pack <laughs> real quick. So when he said that, be like smoking that Keon pack. Rest in peace. I love my family. bro. Give him a book. That's all you got to say. That opportunity could have been used to show remorse to the court for his actions. Exactly. It wasn't. You know, I have um, never in 23 years approximately ever not accepted a sentence agreement between the parties because it's a bargain for sentence by the party. This was going to happen. All right. A lot of y'all that don't know about the courtroom or how it works, this side go. I'm just dumb it down real quick. Just, just, I'm about to leave out a lot of shit right now. Listen to me. If you do a crime, boom, you hire a lawyer. Then you got the DA, the district attorney, who's the lawyer for the state, the lawyer for the victim. All right? Once y'all go to court, y'all get the evidence on each other, and then the DA and the lawyer, they come to agreement like, I want to give him 30 years. The lawyer like, no, that ain't too much. Give him 20 years. They're going to argue. They're going to come with the agreement of 25 years maybe. You know what I'm saying? The lawyer and the DA is the one that come to the agreement with the, uh, with the crimes unless it's a trial. So when they come to agreement with the, with the crime, bro, they present it to the judge. The judge has to make it official by reading it aloud. Even though they already know what's finna happen, the dude know how much time he finna get, the lawyer know how much time they finna get, and the DA already know. The judge is just there to make it official. What the judge finna do is say, I don't care about y'all agreements, bro. I'm about to give him the time I want to give him. Wrapped up. Just because, and they wouldn't, he wouldn't have did that if a boy didn't get up there so cocky. So whatever time he was finna get, he's never getting out now. Watch this. Watch this. So watching you sit there, smile and laugh and shake your head like this was no big deal, I'm very tempted to just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to prison. Ah, look at him. Scared as a bit. Look at him. Mom. Mom. Yeah, you're trying to be cocky, bro. You're trying to be cocky. Look at that fat. Look, look, look. This was no big deal. I'm very tempted. To just say, I'm not going to accept this sentence agreement. We'll go to trial. <laughs> look at that face, dog. Hold on. Y'all not watch him look how he look at his mama. Look. And if you're convicted of felony murder, you'll go to Mom! trial. Mom! <laughs> yeah! Y'all better chill out, bro. You better chill out. You already did the worst of the worst that you could do to any family. Now you want to have a... Woo! Y'all kids in the room yet? Your brother, your cousin? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, get your daddies and your uncles, because they, they, they stupid too. We still got uncles in our families and daddies in our family that's 50 years old and still think they super crips, bro. I'm not even lying. Get them in the get them in the uh get them in the room too. Get them in the room too. That means you'll die there. Yes. That's what I'm tempted to do. The judge does <laughs> look how he whisper. He can do that. Look how he whisper at the lawyer. And the lawyer like, well, that's on you. You wanna be cocky. What if he if he take back on his statement, the mom need to stand up and say, I don't accept it. F you. Straight up. Does have the authority to reject the plea deal. Look. Mr. Bella, do you want me to accept the sentence agreement? Your Honor, before I answer the court's question, I would like an opportunity to discuss it with the victim's family. Okay. If the court would pass it, I would appreciate it. I'm happy to do that. We'll pass. This boy is wrapped up. Now the lawyer said I talked to the victim's family, I would have been like, Your Honor. Whatever you could do, give him the max sentence. Please. Yeah. He went up in there knowing that they came to an agreement and he was going to go ahead and get out, bro. But he wasn't thinking that the judge was going, uh-uh, give him the max, please. I ain't never want nobody to get no time in my life more than I want him to get it. 
and pursue a trial. Um, I have had a very lengthy discussion uh, with the victim's mother as well as his grandparents and some family members. Uh, they understand that obviously this, this is the defendant who brutally uh, murdered their son by shooting him in the back of the head. He's shown wow. absolutely no remorse. However, the Glee family um, does want to move on with this. They want to get some closure from this case. And they want to try and forgive this defendant even though all of his actions. Uh, for what good people, bro. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be out here taking lives of innocent. In the back of the head, bro, he was no threat to you. You know what I'm saying? And still the parents came with the, we feel sorry for him. We want to get this over. We would still pray for And, and they say some white people don't like black people. Yeah, right. If that ain't, but I don't care what race, bro, was. I would. I'm mad as fuck right now, and I'm on the side of the white people. You know what I'm saying? Dude is a buster beyond busterism. Still give him the book. Throw it at him. For what he did. And they are asking, as well as the people, uh, that you proceed with the sentence. Okay. Wright has another opportunity to address the court, this time through his attorney. Your Honor, my client asked me to apologize to the court. His smiling was in no way meant as disrespectful either to the family, to the victim, or to this court. Not accepting it. My client is 17 years old. So what? He has some Bro, my, my homies was hitting banks at 15 years old. You are a grown man at 17 years old, all depending on the environment you grew up in. I don't want to hear that, bro. In the environment he in, he had a pistol, hit somebody in the back of the head, RP Wolfie Wolfie, he got dead homies. He's outside, bro. I don't want to hear none of that age, none of that. I don't want to, bro, I don't want to hear none of that. We grown at 17 in certain environments. And frankly, we're scared. And some people display fear by smiling. Shut up. He really meant no disrespect. He does take this very seriously. No, he don't. And I think he does feel bad about it. No, he the don't. The judge accepts the sentencing agreement, which puts him behind bars for 25 to 52 years. Not that I would have gave him 52 to 75 years. I'm sorry for you know, acting immature on the road. I understand that, you know, being on the road, you do have other people's lives in your hand. And, you know, I should have thought about that. When defendant Cyrus Matthews was there on misdemeanor charges, stemming from a road rage case. As well as there's there like any way that we can reverse this jail time? No. Well, you're going to have to go to jail today. We need to get out there and attend hearings and consider furloughs. Okay. Out of all the crimes that can happen, bro, I think road rage is one of the most minute, one of the most pettiest crimes in the world. I'm not even lying. I'm not lying because a road rage ain't nothing but you and your feelings about this with a lot of people. And to keep it real, a police officer dumbed this down for me probably like 15 years ago. No lie. Right. I got pulled over for speeding. First of all, I didn't know back then it was a such thing as felony speeding. Like, I think it's over like 100 miles. Like, you can get a felony for that for driving so fast. Right. But I was doing like 88. Pulled me over for speeding, booty woop woop, whatever. Hey, ghost, I'm going to, well, not ghost, but hey, I'm going to give you this ticket, yada, yada, yada. You was doing 80, but I'm going to just get you for like 73 so they go cool on your court. I'm like, all right, bet. Woop woop woop. Went to the uh, car, came back, gave my ticket. He was like, bro, this, just slow it down. You got to understand that. And this is, ever since he said this, bro. I think about this all the time I'm driving, no lie. He was like, you got to understand, if there's a light that's three blocks away, right? And you're trying to hurry up and catch this light, bro. Are you trying to cut somebody off to get to that light? From here to that light in your car, doing 65 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour, or even 35 miles an hour, it's going to take 10 seconds to get to that light, bro. Why do you want to get there in eight? I was like, oh, uh, you're right. What is the two second difference between, you know what I'm saying? And every time I drive now, I got with that logic in my head when I'm on the freeway. If I'm trying to hurry up, you know how you see an exit 
and you see a car a little bit in front of you, so you want to make that right to get off the exit, so you hurry up and speed in front of him to get off the... Why do you speed in front of him? If you wait two seconds, he will pass. You can get right behind, bro, and get off. I be... Every time I drive, I got that eight to ten second thing up in my head, bro. When you roll rage like he did, bro, you just in your feeling somebody cut you off. They got to the light before you. They the first one. You don't want to be five cars back now. You six cars back. It, just petty stuff, man. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I miss? 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 When defendant Cyrus Matthews was there on misdemeanor charges stemming from a road rage case. As well as there's there like any way that we can reverse this jail time? Nope. Well, we're going to go to jail today. If you need to get out there, then you can consider furloughs. That right there. Bro ain't never been in jail a day in his life. And what the judge told him he going to jail. And mind you, this is a minute case. What I say minute case. He's at court in his regular clothes, meaning he wasn't in jail before that. So the time he was going to get was going to be nothing. By him running, he doing way, he got way more time than just sitting there and doing this couple days, couple weeks, couple months in jail. You know what I'm saying? Okay, right now you're going to be in jail, right? Okay. So you have to go in the right? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Call the police. Call the police. I'm out of here, bro. Where the bait was at? Because I'm pretty sure if that was Tyrone, we would have had somebody up in there that's 80 years old trying to stop him. Matthew's girlfriend follows him out. I'm not ready. Do bro want to escape or not? Why did you come back to the to the comeback? Did he forget he left his girl, his keys? I might as well do the. And then you got them two standing right there waiting with him while they all decide what he finna do. <laughs> Look! Patient here on Matthew's part. We now know it's the bailiff trying to reason with him, explaining that his escape will lead to felony charges. Mm. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. And the girl got off with him. Now, the Wadsworth police take over. Don't tell me they caught up that fast. Matthews is way ahead, reaching speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. Mm -mm. Officer James Let's see how this one is. How did they catch up to you, bro? Bro, I'm finna get a felony escape from the courtroom. Evading police. Reckless driving. You put all these charges on a couple weeks in jail, bro. Now you really finna go to prison. Jail, at least you would have just, you would have been in the same city. You would have probably been, how many miles from your house? Because everybody know every county jail in every city is downtown. So, bro, you would have still been downtown. I ain't going to the big house. Stupid. You going to the big house. He crashed with his girl in the car. Matthews has crashed into a white SUV. That crashed into somebody else. Where's he at? That's Matthews' car there. All right, we're going to have multiple vehicles, airbag deployment. Ma'am, are you okay? Okay. The passengers are a couple and they're in Bro finna get life. He about to get 20 years. I'm not even lying, bro. Life-threatening injuries. Ashley, help them get out. Help them get out. He's up here. 
Officer Walzer hustles over towards Matthew's car across the road. This dude is so stupid. She says she can't feel my eyes. Hey, can we feel our eyes? All right. Nah, she just said she cab right now. Hold on. She said I can't feel my eyes. That's no, bro. Hold on. Help them get out. He's up here. Officer Walzer hustles over towards Matthew's car across the road. I mean, it's the only way. I ain't. Hey, but I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my. I can feel everything on my body, but my eyes. I can feel wrinkles in my face. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Watch, I'm gonna need multiple squads. I need, I need help, sir. Okay. Get out of the way, Digit. Okay. Sit tight. Sit tight. That dude is the worst of the worst. She got her a weenie for a boyfriend. Realizes he's made a truly horrible decision. Ninety days. Matthews and his girlfriend are extracted by the Wadsworth Police Department and taken to the hospital. Matthews is charged with aggravated felonious assault, mm -hmm. injuring his girlfriend and the occupants of the other vehicle. He's sentenced to 425 days. Bro got a year in the county for all that? He got a year in the county for man. Come on, bro. Is not charged. Come on, bro. I don't care about the battle. That's cap one hundred.